What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you two ways to monitor, troubleshoot, help you fix, and even reset your check engine codes. This is the model number SR950. This is really great if you have, wanna check multiple cars, you're on the go. This will definitely pay for itself in the long run. Uh, you can also update the software by plugging in a USB cable right here to your PC and going to the website in the manual, it tells you where um, what website to go to to update your firmware uh, or you could connect it to your PC to print out reports which is also convenient there's no battery in these devices as soon as you plug it into your car your car battery will turn on the device so if it doesn't turn on your car battery is probably dead uh, it has all audible alerts and LED alerts here's your navigation buttons right here this OK button is your select this is your back button escape is the IM button it tells you instant access uh, information to your drive cycle and emissions and this is the help button it tells you um, if there's anything on the screen that you don't know what it is you just press that button and it gives you a brief description of what it is that's a great feature so we're gonna plug in this cable it comes with the device also this case comes with it and this is long enough to actually use outside the car which is kinda cool and we're gonna plug this into the OB OBD um, to port under my dashboard and most cars 1996 or newer have that port under your dashboard so let's we'll go ahead and plug it in there we go it's plugged in and as soon as you plug it in it turns on uh, your car battery will turn it on there's no batteries in the Bluetooth version or this um, tool uh, just if it doesn't turn on your car battery most likely is dead all right, so I'm gonna zoom in on my dash so you can see what's going on. So as you can see right here, there's that check engine light. So also it tells you right here, there's a problem as well. So we're gonna first troubleshoot it. So I triggered that check engine light. I unplugged the sensor from the cold air intake, but let's see if this tool can find it and uh, you know tell me what it is and reset the code. So this is the diagnostic right here. This is a DTC lookup. It tells you all the codes. That's the diagnostic troubleshooting codes lookup. It's like a reference. And uh, right here is the review of your codes. The tool setup. Click on that. And you can change the language, unit of measure. This is the United States. So by default, it comes with you know miles per hour, stuff like that, uh, Fahrenheit. You can change all these settings. All right, let's check the battery first. Hit OK and it tells you that the battery is good 12.1 volts now it tells you that the engine is turned off right here so let's go ahead and turn on the car so once we turn it on it tells you the car is on and the battery is being charged so if you see 13.2 or higher then your battery is being charged so I like the visual aid on here. There's a lot of visual aids that help you, you know, troubleshoot your car. Let's go up and go to diagnostic. Click on OK. And it's going to give us a report. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and read the codes. Hit OK. Current DTC processing. Right now, it's telling me I have a code P0102. We don't even have to look that code up. It tells you right away. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And then you go down, and once you press down, it tells you the other code. And the other code is a P0113. Air, it's an intake air temperature sensor, which makes sense. I unplugged it. That's why it triggered. And right here, it lights up. It lets you know that's a permanent fault. And that's a mass airflow sensor same thing basically and then hit back and hit back now if you want to erase the codes this is what you do is you go to erase codes hit ok and then you press ok again once you press ok again it will reset the codes but let me go ahead and show you how it works let's go ahead and hit ok it says please turn ignition on with engine off. All right, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so the ignition is on, the engine is off, and that check engine light is still on, activated. So let's see, when we press this, it'll turn off. No. 
light should have turned off. Maybe when I turn on the car, probably will turn off. Uh, yeah, now it's turned off. So actually, we're gonna press the IM button right here, and it gives you instant access to your information. Click on that. All right, so that everything checks out. So that alert, that little beeping that you hear, lets you know that there's no error. I don't know if you can see that green light. So that, that lets you know that there's no fault. We'll troubleshoot again. Make sure there's no codes. Put it down. Let's read the codes. Current codes. And there's, it has no fault codes. Now I'm going to demonstrate the Bluetooth diagnostic scan tool. Now unlike the handheld scan tool where you just simply plug it in and get codes and tells you the information, how to troubleshoot your car, this takes a little bit of configuring. It uses a Torque app on your phone. Before you get started, you want to download the Torque app at the App Store. Then you want to plug in the device into your car and then connect via Bluetooth on your phone. Password is either four zeros or one, two, three, four. I think it's one, two, three, four. There it is. All right, cool, got it. Let's go back to the app, the Torque app. And then you're gonna click on right here and we're gonna set up um, the car. You can have like three or four or five cars set up. You can Google the information for the car. If the car is a 3.5 liter, you have to put, input all that information in. So that's what I have. It's a 3.5 liter. Tells you the cars. This is actually wrong. I think it's 15 gallon right here. But anyhow, you gotta just store it, hit save, and it tells you all the information, graphs, fault codes right here. Just tap that. All right. All oh, these are the logs. It's scanning right now. There, it just scanned it right here. So it's same code as the last device, uh, P0113, right? And it only tells you one fault code. And you can look that up. Oh, actually, I looked it up already. So you click on real-time information. Here's all the meters right here. Uh, you can actually add some. You just press that on the back side of the screen, the wallpaper. Click on add display. And you can input any meter you want, digital, whatever and it gives you a bunch of stuff to choose from. Uh, air, fuel and air ratio, click on that, click on small, and you can put that right up here. So you can customize this whole screen, which is pretty cool. And also you scroll, it tells you um, the adapter status. It tells you right here also if it's connected, just click on that. It tells you that it's connected basically. And you can get plugins like miles per gallon. Go ahead and turn on the car, you see? Real-time monitoring, just like the other tool. And that's the RPMs right there. And this is the voltage. So right now, it's charging my battery. 13.2 volts. So let's go ahead and uh, turn off the car. And see if you can reset the check engine light. So we got the fault codes right here. Click on that. Click on the three dots right there. We're gonna click on clear faults right here and it should reset that and hit okay. And it's sending that, it's 11%, 29%, 45%, 65%. And it's completed. So it cleared the code. Let's see if I turn the car back on. Sure enough, the code is gone, as you can see. So that's how you do it. That's how you use these tools. If you found this video informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you want more how-to videos like this coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech. Click on this subscribe link right here or the subscribe button down below. And if you wanna check out my other car tech videos, click on this playlist link right here. And if you know anyone that this video will help, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them. Help someone out. Thanks guys for watching, bye.